Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa. If you're returning, thanks so much for watching another video of mine. This is the third and final um, video for our living room makeover. I'm sorry I had to do it in three videos, but I had so much footage and anyway, this is the third and final video. So I'm super excited to um, get this video made and put up for you guys to see because I am so excited as to how these built-ins turned out. Um, so in today's video, as you see here, I will be picking out a stain color for the top of the cabinet. Um, we're going to finish up because I'm not sure if I showed like when he put the crown molding on or the, just the finishing touches. So that'll be included in this video as well. Um, and also my paint choice and sanding and painting and then showing you guys what I do to the back wall um, inside each shelf area there. So yeah, I'm excited to put together this video for you guys and excited for you to see the final reveal. The decorating will be in the next video, I think the next one after this. It'll be right after this, shortly after. Um, and it'll be the fall decorate with me in my living room, which I'm super excited about that as well. But without further ado, let's get into today's video so you can quickly see how well these turned out. I'm so proud of my husband. Good morning, everyone. It is a new day to this project again. We're, he has almost completed his part of the build. Um, he is working on the crown molding and the baseboard today. And once that gets completed, uh, then my job will start. So it is Saturday, September 14th. It is early in the morning. It's about, well, not too early. It's 8 o'clock. I am still in my PJs. Um, just came downstairs, got me a good cup of coffee, let the dog out, let him go potty. You might even hear the chickens up on the hill. But I came outside because I want to, I have three different stains already here at the house. So I want to see, my goal is to paint the built-ins, okay, and the countertop part that's on top of the cabinet. That part will be stained. The rest of it, I want to paint, okay? So, but my goal is I would like to match the shelf that's in my living room, which I'll show you right here. Okay, I'd like to match the color of this shelf. And I would like to match that. That's my goal. So that's my goal. I want to match that color but I'm not certain that I have that color. I don't know what that is. I bought that shelf at a yard sale or somewhere years ago. And I've had it, well, no, I bought it about five years ago because we've lived here five years. So I bought it at a yard sale um, before we moved here. And it's been hanging there ever since. And I love it. I love decorating it. I love, so it'll probably stay there. It's not going anywhere. But I want to match that color on the built-ins. So what I'm I'm going to do this morning while he's working inside, he there was another piece of this is what we used for um the countertop. I would love to have had it a little thicker, but wood's expensive. And I wasn't doing all that. You know, we, we even priced butcher block because it would have been beautiful with butcher block. No, I'm not, no, I'm not paying that kind of money for that right now. The cabinets, um, were enough. I'll try to write down here what we paid for each cabinet and, um, which I've been saving money for this because I knew that this was something I wanted to do. Um, so I have that, but I will include the cost of the cabinets, the wood. Um, I think I have the receipts and stuff. I'll try to do like a itinerary thing or whatever and put it in here. But a lot of the wood we have used that 
a lot of the wood that we have used was wood that we already had because it was wood that we had left over from um, when we built Bella's whelping box. So, with that being said, that was a lifesaver in and of itself. But I also have some, tr some stains. So I just want to see if e any of these stains work before I go out and buy another stain. So even if I have to maybe layer them, I don't know if you can layer stains. I think you can. So I'm going to just do that right now, just kind of test and trial and error and see what they look like and then kind of plan what I want to do. I may have to go purchase another stain, but I'd rather check what I have first before I go buy it. Okay. So the first one, the first one I'm going to use is special walnut. Not sure that one's going to work, but we're going to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try them here, here, and here. Is that, can you see all three? Yeah. Um, this one is driftwood. I'm thinking that's going to be a no. And this one's weathered, weathered oak. Okay, that one's already a no. I can tell. It's way too light. And this one's light, too. Okay. So, this one was weathered oak. But that one's way too light. That one is not going to work. This one was driftwood. Definitely way too light. Now this one was... Um, special Walnut 224. This one might work. I'm going to go inside and... Um, I'll try to hold these up to... The sun. I'm in the sun there. The sun's coming up over there. I'm going to go inside, try to hold this up to that board, and see um, which one's close enough. I'd really rather not have to go buy stain because stain goes such a long way. So I know that both of in, in any of these cans, which those two won't work. So even if this one works, I have plenty. So I know it will last. I prefer not to buy it. So even if it's just close enough, it's probably going to work. So, all right, let's go see. All right, so that is really close. I think that's going to work. I may try to do a second coat on top of that. Maybe that will darken it. Or I may try to use this one and put something on top of that and see if that would darken a little bit more since that's underneath. So, I'm going to go back out and see. You might be also thinking, well, Melissa, your floor is like an orangey look. I have never liked the colors of the floors. The colors of the floors are not what I would want. That's the reason, one of the reasons why I have a big rug to hide it. Plus, the floors are in desperate need of refinishing and resanding. If and when we ever find the funds and can do that, 
and get them resanded. When I stain them again, they will not be the same color. I don't want to stain them the same color. I would like to go along the lines with more, something a little darker or whatever. So, um, that's why I'm not really concerned with the woods being different. And I have the big rug in there. You don't see it too much anyway, so it's fine. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try to darken it on this one. I'm going to try to darken this one with that again, and then I'm going to take this one and put over top of the weathered oak. This one, driftwood, way too light. No, not that oak. I don't like that one. I don't know if this will darken up with just putting more on top of it. Let me darken this one up over here, maybe. I don't know if it'll work. I don't think that's going to work. No, that give it more of a... Yeah, no. Hold on, I'll show you. Let me take you back inside. Okay, pardon the background noise. My husband is filing something over there. So, or sawing something, not filing. Um, so this one is the one that was on top of the yellow and it's still too orangey looking, I think. This one, however, just might work. Let me give you a closer look. The yellow underneath. This is the way too light. This one, whoops, close enough. So that one is close enough. So that's what we're going with. I'm going to go with the special walnut 224. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to use. I have plenty in there. That should be plenty for both of the countertops. That's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to go and buy another um, let me stand over here because the sun is shining in my face over there. Um, but I'm not going to go buy another stain when I already have a stain. Uh, that, that will work. It'll be close enough. So that's what I'm going to work on when he gets done and finish doing the trim today. Then I'm going to go through and try to caulk all of the seams and everything. Um, then I'll sand it down and then I'll show you what I'm going to do for the backing and then we'll start painting and then I gotta wait. I have to have patience and once it fully cures, then I can seal it and I get to the fun part then. That's the really fun part. So pardon the way I look. It is, like I said, Saturday morning. I'm, I have, look. If you review my channel, I'm not going to, I'm going to be real with you. So I'm not going to just get it, wake up and get all beautified or whatever for, it would be no different if you popped in at my door and you came to my house and you showed up here at 822 in the morning, this is what you would get. <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry. There will be videos where I'll be, look like I'm, you know, ready to go somewhere. But, yeah, if I'm getting ready to do a project, I'm not getting dressed. I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and I'm going to get to work. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I believe that I put some of this footage in the last video, but um, I couldn't remember exactly uh, how much of it I showed. Um, and... You know, I'm trying to get these videos up for you guys. So I'm just going to show you a little bit. He's finishing up the trim, the baseboard here around the bottoms of the cabinets. And I'm just doing my cleanup, trying to pick up everything and um, just kind of move stuff out of his way because he was wrapping up on his end. But I did want to include just a little bit of this um, footage so that I make sure that you see exactly everything we did. Um, and the baseboard we had, 
um, downstairs. So we got blessed with having some of the baseboard. We got blessed with having the boards um, left over from building Bella's whelping pen. Um, and he ripped down those boards to make the braces for the shelves like you saw. So basically we only bought the support for the bottom of the cabinet, the two by fours, the cabinets itself. We did buy the countertop part on top of the cab cabinet itself. And I kind of wish now that we would have done that the way we did the actual shelves, like stack the two boards that we had together and then place the little trim piece on the front. But what's done is done. It would have made it look a little thicker, but it, you know, it's fine. I'm completely happy with it. No complaints here. I'm just saying, you know, looking back, sometimes hindsight, you look back and you're like, oh, maybe we should have done this because it would have saved us the money of buying that board itself. But we didn't, we paid for that board, had it cut for the top. And then we bought the side, uh, side parts of the, cabinet and then we bought the trim for each shelf and the side of the cabinet and then he bought the quarter round or they not the quarter round crown molding at the top um and other than that everything else we already had so it saved us a ton of money and like I said if we would have not bought that countertop piece that would have saved us a little bit there um but we didn't and I'm, I'm cool with it it's completely fine it looks great and there was a couple screws and different things that we did purchase um, that we're going to get to be able to take back and get our money back for. So, um, yeah, I'll give you a roundabout. It's not going to be exact because, you know, some of the stuff we will get to take back. But um, I'll give you a roundabout estimate of what each one cost us in the end. Keep in, bear in mind, we had all those boards that I said, plus we had, I had the paint. And I did have the stain, so that saved us money right there. So I did have to buy some sandpaper and that type of stuff. But um, yeah, so this is just him just finishing up his part. To give you context to interpret the whole They look so thing. good. Three you did great. Puzzle, right? The one story that's been opened up like two slices of bread, and our right. middle story. So it's so good. Context. Here's an yeah. example of that. That'll uh, verse one. It starts off with the first piece of the sandwich, the first piece of bread, right? After two days, it was the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him. We just got to, uh, yeah, I am, I am might have to, like, take some sandpaper and knock it dead, though. It's all right. Yeah. Let me see, babe. Don't measure up to God. Me, no, look, see, if I'd have cut the cabinets right, I wouldn't have had to piece those spots in there. Then it all worked out really good. It's okay. It looks Unfortunately for us, it's like, Somebody bad. created a call. You ever see something you can do? That's right. Clean and go, or you got white glove treatment with one. They go along the windowsill and like, ha. We have caught right to you have a piece of be our friend. cardboard somewhere. So, so I don't really want to set that on your carpet. Can I be pleased? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets hot. It will leak a little yeah, bit of oil out of it. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. his own work? I kept that from the cabinets because if I put it in the center, I should be able to work it from both sides. <gasps> you just unplugged it. You just unplugged it. Plug it in right there beside the cabinet. It'll be closer. So you can rejoice. I mean, this court's too short. I can rejoice. Why don't you make a plug on my face? It doesn't mean I rejoice. But you know you got moving around the house. I am having joy right within my own self i'm not projecting it to others i'm not involving others in it i'm just rejoicing so internally i'm rejoicing that's what that means. but i'm doing it yeah there it is bottom done that one i really like this one would have been like Almost really good. Almost really good? Yeah, if I wouldn't have pushed that top out. See where I pushed that gap out because I put this board in there too tight. I think it looks great. So far, I think you've done a fabulous job. Okay, so he is... Just like me, he's kind of a perfectionist with things. If he does it, he wants it to look, you know, exactly right. But neither one of us are perfect. 
Nobody is. I don't care even if you are a professional, you're still not perfect. And, but it's okay because I think it looks absolutely amazing. I originally had thought, let me show you over here because all the stuff's in the way. Yeah, I originally had thought two shelves. And then when we did it, I thought, oh no, there's too much space in between. It's too wide. Maybe we should have put a third shelf, but I didn't want to ask because I didn't want him making more. And so I was like, no, it looks all right. Well, the more I've looked at it, the more I'm like, no, I like it because I can put tall items. I could put a picture um, leaning up back there, things like that, and layer things. So it, it is, it's absolutely perfect as far as what it's going to work. And I'm super, 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 super happy with it, how everything is turning out. Um, he's just working on now. The crown molding at the top, placing that. And then after all the crown molding is up, my job comes in because I have to caulk and fill in nail holes and screw holes and cracks and all that stuff to get a seamless look. Then I'll let that dry, come back in, do some sanding, clean it off, and then I can start on the backing. Um, of the cabinets. We did not put a back intentionally on the cabinets, number one, to save, well, can't say to save money because I did purchase. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's actually cheaper to do it this way than it would be, would have been to add a board. If we'd have added wood, it would have been way too expensive. So, a cost effective way, I bought, which I know I said I would never work with after doing that crazy wall. If you watch that video, but that was peel and stick. So this is uh, pre-pasted wallpaper. So this will slide and shimmy a little bit more. So hopefully this will be a little bit easier to work with. But this is paintable wallpaper, but it is beadboard. So it's gonna look just like that. I don't know if you can see really well. I think you can. So it's beadboard. So the back on the walls will have the beadboard look. The backs of the cabinet will have a beadboard look and it's paintable. So it will be painted to match the cabinet, but it will have the texture. So um, I think that's gonna look really good. So that's the plan. I had thought about painting this, painting this, then staining, then staining all the shelves, but I don't, I want all of it. I think green or the beige color, it's more of a taupe. It's called Mothwing. Um, so that's what I'm going to paint everything. But this part, the countertop part, will be... This part. The countertop will be stained that darker color that we talked about earlier. So. Yeah, very little cough on that. Can you hand me my nail gun? Absolutely. Money for your car fix? Uh, yes, I have You save extra because of the mirror? Whoa, watch your finger, babe. Yeah, I have the money. Don't put a thousand on me. small project? No. No more. That's not small. <laughs> that I would be a small be. project. No. You said I'm not. no more big projects. I, I want to build somewhere where I ain't got to walk up and downstairs. Well, put it outside on the deck. What are you talking about? Your saw. No. Why? It doesn't get dust everywhere. Sweep it off. Blow no. it off. That's what we do with the blow. The blow yeah. I got to carry the saw downstairs. <laughs> Every night. You told me small projects. Nah, well, this is it. You got it. Yay! <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure I've lost him on projects for quite a while. So anything else I come up with, I'm probably on my own. 
So, just saying. Oh. So. I'm pretty sure I lost my breakfast. He loses his breakfast. I don't know what he's talking about. Everybody give him a hand. Do some hand clap emojis at the end of this, or in this, in the comments for my hubby. He did such an amazing job. Look here. I'm done. Woohoo! Now Never my done job. Never anything again. No. I'm, just <laughs> I'm sure I'll do something else. I'll give you a break. Yeah, six months. He is leaving the job site. Bye. Bye. Did you want? Oh, you just did it. <laughs> oh. I'll get ready to give you a piece. Put it there. I told you. <laughs> Here, you yeah. someone try to push it back in there? Maybe glue will hold it. Well, hurry up. Here. That side up. It's probably gonna be too full. Yeah. I'm not going to go in there. I told you. Yeah. You didn't. You spit on me. <laughs> I didn't spit on you. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> You're my everything, my guiding light. I'm not a caulker, but I'm just sealing cracks and nail holes and that type of stuff with this uh, project. Working on it, trying to get all of the nail holes and everything, um, screw holes and cracks covered as much as possible. And then I'm going to let it dry. These pocket holes I'm trying to fill with a caulk. And that's going to take probably a little longer to dry because it's obviously a lot thicker. So I'll work my way around that when I'm painting. Um, but then I can sand it down once it all dries and then start. I'm going to work on the back part of it, the wall. And then after I get that done, then I can move on to paint. <laughs> Thing to caulk. I know. You got so many imperfections in your work. No, it's just that it's just a big shelf. I don't think it has anything to do with like imperfections. Yeah.
I'm about to start I'm about to start on the bead board on the wall um, and if you watched if you were someone who watched my uh, I'm on the ladder <laughs> and my feet are like ah! um, if you were someone who watched my video of my wall that was the peel and stick wallpaper and I've used it before on small spaces didn't have too much issue my wall was a nightmare for me as far as like trying to figure it out lining it up all that thing plus I made a mistake and bought different skew codes on the bottoms of each yeah so the different prints anyway that was just a whole ordeal some of you liked that video but didn't like that video because of how much it stressed me out so um, hopefully this won't stress me out as bad, but we'll see. You know, I said I would never use it again, wallpaper, and this is not peel and stick, so, um, you know, I take back that statement because here I am using wallpaper. It's not peel and stick, but I am using it, so never say never because you come back and you eat your words, so live and learn, but I'm going to use this because I want to give it, like, some texture behind the cabinet um, and we didn't want to purchase wood for the back because that just would have been more it would have been more expensive than what the paper was the paper was only like $24 for this big old thick roll so and I got two rolls but more than likely I get can probably take the other one back because um, I'm probably not gonna need to but I got two just in case but the paper is much cheaper than what the wood would have been. So, and it's going to give it a texture, you know, to look like beadboard behind it. Plus, if you ever wanted to change it, if you wanted to put like a pretty floral paper or whatever, that's an option to do when you're putting paper behind it instead of building a built-in with a wood panel. I mean, you could obviously put the paper on the wood, but... I don't know. It's just cheaper to do it this way. And I didn't have to buy more wood. So I'm going to do my best to try to tackle this. It's pre-pasted, so I'm assuming I just have to put water on it. And I think it's going to slide around and manipulate a little bit easier. So we're going to see. I'm going to go up here and measure it. I don't know if you can see really well um, when I hold it up because it's white up against a white wall. So it's going to be hard to probably see. But you will be able to see it in the end when I paint it because it's going to be painted the same as the cabinet. So let me quit yakking and start working. So far that was a little bit easier than what the um, other wallpaper stuff was, but I have not matched it up yet, so we shall see. as long as it stays on the wall I'm liking this better than that other stuff so at least for me it's easier I think my husband was right when he said why are you getting a shower you're gonna be working I won't be working a sweat up yes I did I worked a sweat up oh should listen to the man all right. I'm getting excited though. I 
can tell you that. Okie dokie. This is cool. Okay, so I just filmed a clip and I realized I wasn't filming at all. So I need to re-say everything I just said. I finished the beadboard. All of that is complete. I don't know if you can see, um, you can kind of see what it's going to look like on both cabinets. That part is complete. Now, I cannot paint that for 36 hours. So I can't paint that until Monday. So my next step so that I'm getting more of this project done, um, I'm going to stain the countertop and go ahead and get that stained. Then I'm possibly, well, I'm actually going to start taping off. Yeah, I'll tape off some areas and then I will stain that and then I'll possibly start painting the cabinet. That way I can get as much done as possible before Monday and then I can just paint the, the beadboard. Um, my husband has worked tirelessly for a whole week. Um, coming home, he hasn't went golfing all week. Bless his little heart. <laughs> He's going through golfing withdrawals. So guess where he is right now? He's golfing. But he deserves it. He deserves a much needed break. He has worked all day, then come home and worked on these all evening until late at night, until it gets dark and then puts stuff away and then just kind of passes out. So he has worked tirelessly, but I think he's done an amazing job. He pulled my vision completely together. So I'm so excited to get them finished so I can start decorating. I'm gonna just do what I can do right now and then just keep moving so that I can get as much done as possible and then hopefully get finished soon. Okay, if anybody knows me, knows I hate to tape off. Cause normally when I tape off, I do a worse job at cutting than I do if I just leave it alone. But I want to tape it off to try to do better. This is not sticking. Why is that not sticking? Let me put some more water on that. I'm gonna put some more water on that one. Okay, so at this point, I am getting ready to stain the tops of the cabinet, the shelf, the main shelf. Um, but I had to use a little paintbrush to edge the very back um, because I was trying not to get it on the paper. So that's why you see me painting just the corner edges with the brush. Don't worry, I don't do all of it with this teeny little brush. That's what the rag's there for. <laughs> That's what it's looking like. And then once it all get painted, I'm gonna get ready to go over there. But I think this trim is matching really well with like 
around that trim and then that shelf which those two you'll be able to see once I get it over there running into I should have stained these before I've got some caulk I need to sand that off try to get that off of there and then I'll stain over that but like where the caulk ran here that's not staining so I'll try to sand that as well and stain it also on this corner there's a spot um, and then over here I have the same issue where there was caulk and I did not realize so I'm going to I'm going to sand those down after that dries and kind of try to get that off and then try to stain, stand, stain on top of that. And hopefully that will work. If it doesn't, I don't care. It, from a distance like this, you can't see it. And once decor gets up there, you're not going to see it. And if anybody's looking, when they come to my house, then... And I don't get that many visitors, so it's just us that's going to see it, so it's fine. But I think that that stain actually works perfect with the um, matching of these two shelves, bringing, bringing that shelf in with that. Um, and eventually, like I said, I want the floor to be different. Um, I'd love it to be darker. But until then, it's fine. It's covered up with a rug, and what you do see, I don't care. Okay, so at this point, it is time for paint. So, don't mind my little dental floss toothpick sticking out of my mouth there. I didn't even realize I had it in my mouth. I keep a pack of those in one of the um, end table drawers in the living room. And so, I just, I don't know. I'm OCD about flossing my teeth. And so, anyway, don't mind my little dental floss toothpick. So, but it's time for paint, and um, like I said earlier, um, I think I said it earlier, I am painting with the um, Sherwin Williams Moth Wing. Um, it's the same color that I have on my hutch and on my coffee bar, and I, in the end, I really love how it all turns out. Um, in this video and some of the shots, I can see where it looks like it's pulling a little green but it is more, um, I would say more of like a tan or a taupe color. It's a very earthy color. It's really pretty. Um, so I like the fact that it is an earthy color, um, very neutral. So when I do decorating for Christmas or anything, it's not gonna clash. Um, now, you know, that's not to say that someday down the road I might paint them something different, but right now I really like the way that they look in this color and so yeah so lots of painting going on I showed you I don't know I've been cutting the camera on and off because um, well JJ called back and talked to Taylor so I was listening to them so um, but I've been I went and got a bite of lunch and stuff so anyway I sanded off a little bit of that and I tried to touch it up some of it is not coming off and it's it is what it is I, it's fine so there's gonna be decorations on there so it's gonna cover it it's I'm happy. It's fine. So, but just giving you a heads up on what I'm doing.
so at this point, the cabinets have been painted, the doors are off and been painted. The backing has been painted once, so it'll need another touch up. But I went ahead and tore off all the paint because all the sides have been done twice. And that looks like it's going to be enough. However, painter's tape, I hate using, and this is why. Look what it did to my wall. Look uh, what it did to my wall. Yeah, look what it did to the wall. Does that sound better? Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I don't know. So now I have to go through and I gotta peel off this and I gotta sand it down. I'm not sure why it's peeling off that paint. That is a Sherwin Williams. No, it's a bear paint. And but I don't I don't understand. I maybe that's why, but it's wheat bread by bear. I've never had any issues with it before. And so yeah. So I've got to fix, now I've got to fix that. And then it also, and I'll have to do some touch-ups because there's still some spots that are going to need to be touched up. But it also did that to my ceiling. And so I've got to fix that. So yeah, there's, but other than that, it's almost complete and then I'll have to I will have to um, seal it put um, poly on the shelves because I want to be able to dust them and fix that so that probably won't be until tomorrow but that's where I am right now okay this is another day I believe this is now Monday and so it's time for poly. I used a foam brush at first, but then I end up switching um, halfway through to like a little uh, paint brush because that kept getting like little black specks on my paint and on my finish. So um, I didn't like the sponge, it wasn't working. So I ended up changing to a brush, but just putting the poly on all the doors and all the cabinet. Bye guys. Bye baby. Text me when you get there. <laughs> love you. I love you. Love you. Be careful. Text me when you get there, please. Okay. We'll do. Bye YouTube. Okay friends, so the built-ins are finally complete. All but the handles. The handles still need to go on the doors. Um, that's not been done, but I figured I would go ahead and I would give you the final reveal. Don't look at the living room. I did clean up the paint cans and stuff like that to get that out of your view, but there's still the drill and stuff I've got still laying up here because I gotta put the handles on. But 
I wanted to go ahead and give you a peek at it. They are all painted, stained, and they have their coat of poly on. So I don't have any decorations on there or anything yet. So, but I wanted to let you see. I think they look awesome. I am super happy, so happy with how they turned out. It was exactly what I was looking for and saw in my brain. Um, the, the total vision of what I had in mind. And I pick, by picking this color, um, it's the same color as my hutch in my dining room. So it kind of pulls the two rooms together I feel like and when I give when I give my whole house tour for fall um, maybe you'll be able to see that and can tell but um, the wood on the shelf I really like that they play off of each other um, the wood on the tables kind of similar this one's a little bit more red um, but yeah they're they're pretty similar so um, the floor obviously like I said eventually that will be changed down the road but it's all good and they're so pretty I can't wait to decorate get this living room cleaned up I have to go back to work right now so I'm not going to be able to do it right at the moment I think my son is outside somebody what are you barking at no he's not I thought I heard something um, but I can't wait to decorate. Um, it's going to be so fun putting fall in here because when I clean, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing my clean and decorate with me fall living room video. Um, so I'll be filming all of that and then I'll get to share it with you guys. So you'll see my living room finally get cleaned again. Um, you can give me some ideas of what you think though. I'm not sure... Like I had this faux shiplap wall all the way across and I love it. I took a lot of time with it. My walls are, I don't know if you can tell, they're like a, it's called um, wheat bread, I think, but it's like a gray, a light gray tint. The cabinets are moth wing, painted in moth wing by Sherwin Williams. And I love that color. It's a good neutral color. It's like a tan brown beige color. Um, I, I just love that color. And so it's a really good neutral. But I do not know. We did not connect the two. We've talked about eventually connecting the two. Possibly doing like a fireplace insert. But right now this is what I have. So with what I have. Knowing I cannot build anything else yet. Question, would you leave the shiplap behind the TV? Would you paint it a different color? Would you maybe um, do the beadboard? I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can see. The beadboard wallpaper. On that wall and paint I'm at a dilemma with what I want to do so right now it's gonna stay like this until I figure it out but let me know in the comments below what you think and what how what you feel you know would would look best with this space um, even if it stays like that I'm super happy so uh, I, I really I'm just I'm so happy I'm excited to decorate them so um, but yeah, just leave me a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of video. And Lord willing, friends, there'll be another one. Bye.